2023 Toyota BZ4X. The BZ4X's name may be confusing, but the SUV's mission is clear, usher in Toyota's battery electric future. As the first of seven battery electric vehicles Toyota is making under the BZ moniker, the BZ4X sits on a new platform developed specifically for electric vehicles. The SUV is the result of a collaboration with Subaru, which will introduce its own electric SUV on the same platform. Toyota introduced a concept version of the BZ4X, giving us a good idea of what to expect on the final model that's hitting global markets in 2022. The BZ4X wears styling that makes it look like a stretched, futuristic Rob 4, which isn't a bad thing. In our first drive review, we said that Toyota's electric crossover has a punchy and powerful drivetrain that makes it a perfect companion for darting through traffic, although it does generate a lot of road noise. Body control is good in the corners. Also, the BZ4X's one-pedal regenerative braking system should be a great introduction for electric car newbies and will also suit up veterans. Toyota designed an unconventional interior for the BZ4X, which is attractive even if it won't be totally familiar to returning Toyota drivers. Material quality is excellent across both the XLE and limited trim levels, although we worry that the patterned cloth in the XLE will get shredded by dog claws and rivets on pants. The real downside to the BZ4X is its range. Although it isn't terrible, it lags behind much of the segment, including the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and the Tesla Model Y, both of which are offered with variants capable of traveling over 300 miles on a single charge. In fact, range was one of the main reasons the Toyota lost a comparison against the Ioniq 5, despite its quick acceleration, confident handling, and straightforward operation. Quite a bit. Toyota says the collaboration combines its expertise in vehicle electrification with Subaru's outstanding AWD technologies and driving performance that is both comfortable and enjoyable. Based on this information, expect the BZ4X to offer at least basic off-road capability. That's more than you can say for the forward-only Chevrolet Bolt Uve and Hyundai Kona Electric. While Toyota introduces the BZ4X, Subaru will offer a related model called the Solterra. Both vehicles sit on the ETNGA platform jointly developed by the two automakers. This isn't the first time the two companies have worked together, with the Subaru BRZ and Toyota GR86 sports cars, both models are mechanically related but have unique touches that set them apart. The 2023 Toyota BZ4X has a standard single electric motor driving the front wheels that develops 201 horsepower and 196 pounds to foot of torque. All-wheel drive models use two electric motors, one up front and one in the rear. Each develops 107 horsepower and 124 pounds to foot of torque for a combined output of 214 horsepower and 248 pounds to foot of torque. Toyota claims acceleration for front-wheel drive models is 7.1 seconds, and 6.5 seconds for all-wheel drive versions. The EPA rates the BZ4X's range at 252 miles in XLE forward guys. That number drops to 242 miles for XLE AWD variants. Limited models, which have more equipment and bigger wheels, return 228 miles of range with forward and 222 miles with AWD. Forward models charge at a rate of 150 kilowatts and AWD models charge at just 100 kilowatts. Charging from 0 to 80% takes an hour, which is on the slower side for the segment. The BZ4X is the first vehicle in Toyota's lineup to receive the Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 suite of driver assistance technology, which uses a new millimeter wave radar and camera setup. Blind spot monitoring, safe exist assist, pre-collision avoidance with low light cyclist detection, daytime motorcyclist detection, guardrail detection, and lane keeping assist are all included as standard equipment. A 360 degree camera view with multiple alternate angles is also available on the limited trim level. From a pricing and range standpoint, the XLE trim is a recommended pick of the lineup. It starts at a price point that undercuts the Tesla Model Y and offers enough standard equipment to justify sticking with the entry-level model. 